one more time there, champ. Hey, watching the Groove Zone, this Viking Warrior from Street Beat Scrap Yard. Go follow me and uh, go check out my fights on YouTube. Let's go, baby. Ow! Rock and roll. Ow. Viking Warrior. Awesome. Thanks yeah. for three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's been crazy. I appreciate you putting a few minutes aside. Yeah, no problem. Cool. Um, let's just go right into it. You ready to go right into it? I'm ready. Okay. Now, if you fall asleep, I'm gonna wake you up. I'm awoke. Okay. Not like you've ever not ever fallen anyway. Um, okay. Right. All right. Let me get in the right headspace. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Hey guys, you are watching Convos here on the Groove Zone. I'm DJ D Phoenix coming to you from Olympia, Washington tonight. And with me, I get to hang for a little while with Viking Warrior, who happens to be in Vancouver, Washington this evening. Uh, Viking Warrior, actually, if you recognize him, it's because it's also our DJ Triple T. But yes. we're, we're going with Viking Warrior for the night. Hey, man, how are you? I'm doing well. Doing good. great. Good, good. Uh, what's new on your end? Shit, man, just been working hard. I, I work full time and then uh, I take care of my kids full time. So we've just been doing that and uh, training them and myself. You know, my daughter just had her first boxing match on Saturday. Really? And, uh, she kicked butt, man. She she got the third round stoppage. Wow. So How old is she? Very impressive. She's nine. Wow. Taking after dad. Oh, man. She's, she's a savage. She's my little firecracker. Good for her. Tell her congratulations for us. Wow. Is that what she wants to do? Or at least she's interested? Uh, in you know, she's just, she's just figuring out life. She's just doing everything that, you know, that I, um, I basically let her know that the basis is cardio. So we do track, you know, and cross country. And then every other sport that she wants to do becomes easier because she already has that stamina, that cardio and strength training, you know, that I've been instilling with instilling in her since she was a little baby. So okay. honestly, she likes to do everything. She did cheerleading last year. She wants to do that again. And uh, flag football, she did that last year. She wants to do that again. So cool. we're just trying out a bunch of different sports right now and just staying active. Seeing which one she falls into or which one she likes or whatever. Yeah, you never know. She, she really did impress me in boxing though. She really was comfortable, was really that's awesome. You know, move out there, so that's awesome. I think you're probably a good motivator. Man, at the end of the day, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. So <laughs> it just depends on my mood. And, but you're also the yeah. first one to admit it. So. Yeah, whoever's been fucking with me in the day, if I've been having a good day, good energy, nobody been getting on my nerves. I'm a good coach, but right. If everybody been affecting me all day, trust me, those clients are gonna. Definitely feel it that day. I'll bet. I'll bet. Well, when was the last day that you had a day when somebody didn't like get on you or get on your nerves? The other day. The other day. You had it. And today. Today. today was smooth. Okay. I got a good workout in today. I feel good. Okay. Got a good little pump. Now you're based out of uh, the Tacoma area, though, right? Yeah. Right now, I uh, I previously live in Spanaway, so. Okay. Okay. So if any of you watchers are familiar with that area, then um, now I was up in Parkland for about seven months last year, and I have not been that aggressive, not only behind the wheel, but also just everywhere. And I think part of it was just from the from the vibes up, up in that area. It's, you know, Tacoma's kind of a tough, uh, tough town. Yeah, it is, man. But honestly, it's all about your energy. You know, if you, you know, not courteous, not thoughtful of others, or just have low rage, or just one of those impatient type per person, then you're gonna have issues, you know? Right, right. As it comes with the, with the territory when you act like that, you know? There is always, it's inevitable, like, you're gonna rub somebody the wrong way because you're already willing to be rubbed the wrong way, so. Right, yeah. All it takes is a few aggressive people out on the roadways to make it a lot of uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. Man. So, um, along the lines of uh, MMA, you've been uh, you've been at it for how long now? Uh, MMA, I started that in two thousand eight. For how long now? Uh, MMA, I started that in two thousand eight, and I did wow. that until two thousand and twelve. Okay. Then I got knee surgery, and then I went back into it. 
probably uh, 2014, went into boxing. I mean, went into kickboxing and Muay Thai kickboxing. And then 2016, 2015, I found boxing. And I won a uh, Golden Gloves, super heavyweight. And then for three years, I won both Golden Gloves. And then COVID hit, and I found Street Beefs. And I've just been doing it ever since. Okay, okay. Street Beefs seems like a pretty uh, awesome organization. Yeah, man, it's a uh, it's a pretty good family oriented community, you know, and uh, everybody does uh, look out for each other for the most part. You know, you get your you get little haters here and there, you know that you know want to try to call you out or something, but that's what it's all about. Right? They Friends usually get put here. they usually get put in their place pretty quick in that uh, square, though. You know. Yes, you know I'm looking. I'm always willing to get it in. No doubt. What What is your record with Street Beef so far? Uh, 18 and 1. Wow. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Uh, who, if you don't mind me asking, who was the one? Uh, I was a guy named Fair Play. He actually, uh, he wears a... That's t- right. A suit or whatever. Yeah. That's right. I just caught that, man. I just watched that the other night. Yeah. Yeah. But the cooler thing is, though, is that you guys were totally cool with each other all the way through, from, like, the beginning all the way through the end. It seems like a really, like, upstanding fighter. Yeah, we fought we fought a year prior in Virginia, and I actually won that fight, but they but they robbed me, and they gave us a draw. But he, he admitted to me after the fight, so, you know, you know, he felt like I won, too, and, you know, we'll run it back one day. So a year later, we finally ran it back, but I was... uh. I was going through a lot, so I didn't really properly train the way I should have. But I did a lot of cardio, so it showed that my conditioning was great. It was just my fundamentals was off, and I didn't. Right. You know what I'm saying? I didn't fight my normal game, so right. you know it is what it is. He was the better. I'm glad man you brought that up because I kind of noticed that in your eyes that day. It just like like you weren't. You were almost 100, percent but not quite. Yeah, I, cu- I couldn't get it together, so that's why I just kept rushing in, you know, just trying to figure it out, but it just, it just never came together. But your wife was on the sidelines, though, having a little bit of a talking to to you, though, too. She was. She yeah. was. She was crazy. Good person to have in your corner. Yeah, she's she's definitely a, a hype a hype man, for sure. She she knows how to hype somebody up. No doubt. Coach and cheerleader all wrapped up in one. Oh, yeah. No she's doubt. Stayed- that's awesome. Um, so what's uh, what's next on the horizon as far as any fights go? Anything coming up? Yeah, I fight this pre- this uh, coming up Saturday. This coming Saturday. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm defending my kickboxing title. Wow. Okay. And that's this Saturday. Um, where Where is Street Beast at? So it's located in Gig Harbor, Washington. Okay. Anybody and- can go? Yeah, well, uh, you just have to contact uh, Steve Aguera, the head of CB Scrapyard, and you can find him on CB Scrapyard IG or CB Scrapyard on Facebook. Okay. And um, yeah, and just contact him, hit him up, and let him know you want to fight or you just want to spectate, and he'll let you know. So. Okay. Cool. Cool. So if you guys heard that, yeah, look for uh, Street Beasts on um, Facebook. And what was the other one? Street Beef Scrapyard on Instagram and Street Beef Scrapyard on Facebook. on Facebook. Okay. And then you just look for the event page and the signups are there. So if anybody wants to sign up, it's uh, anybody can sign up. You know, it, it doesn't cool. matter about your skill level or your age. Right. Um, it's for everybody. Now, is there a purse that goes along with that? I mean, do you actually. No. Like, this is all no, just for the fun of it. We do. We're, like, I do have a sponsor that helps out with things. Okay. And uh, uh, honestly, uh, it's really, you know, uh, self, uh, you know, you have to pay for everything, you know, all the expense of yourself for, for the most part. Right. So what is your, um, what's your outlook or what, what do you, what are the chances? Okay. So you're doing street beefs now. Are you ever thinking about like getting into like a different MMA league at all? Or are you pretty content so, with where you're at? So honestly, I... Um, I want to keep helping build the scrapyard, okay. you know, um, I have a lot more I feel like I can give to the the scrapyard and to help build it. And, um, 
after that, I want to do some. I feel like I can give to the the scrapyard and to help build it. And um, after that, I want to do some some professional fights before I'm done. So this year, uh, probably this year, I should get two fights in professional. That's my goal. Okay. Now, when you say professionally, what level are we talking about? So that? I want to do the boxing. I want to start with boxing and then do bare knuckle or do some kickboxing as well. Wow. Once okay. I turn pro, then it's all game. I can do either one. So is it pretty easy to get yourself on a lineup then as far as like going after a title? Or well, yeah, a title? With, me, with me, yeah, it would be because of, you know, the... Um, the uh, fans and and, and uh, the credentials I have, you know, I definitely bring stuff to the table. So promoters like that, and um, it could it could potentially get me into a title fight, right? You know, within five fights, and that's my goal. Within okay. five fights, get a good little big payday. Right, and then right. Make my decision what I want to do after that. Nice. Okay. I am getting a old. I took. I turned thirty six. Oh my on gosh! Seven for July. Thirty six. Yeah, Man, you were pushing. <laughs> Man, I remember thirty six. It was a good year. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you were born yet. Yeah, you were born yet. Anyway. Yes, yeah, you were born yet. I'm an old uh, man. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, cool. So, how how many fights then do you think you've got in you? For professional or just yeah, I mean, like, so you said you get two in before the end of the year, but like, what are you thinking? You think you still got a couple of years left, or? Well, yeah, my my goal at the, at the least is five professional fights, you know, okay. at the least, you know. But I, that's my that's my short term goal is turn professional, get within five fights, you know, get five fights within a year, a year span. Now, once I start, I want to just. Keep it rocking. Right, right. Keep it out, no doubt. Keep that momentum going. Yeah, I don't like really like taking layoffs and take breaks and stuff because then I get lazy. And I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like every other human, you know? Nobody wants to work out. Nobody wants to push themselves. So when you get a chance to be lazy, it feels fucking good push to be lazy. Lazy. So when you get a chance to be lazy, it feels fucking good to be lazy. Right, right. Well, and I hate to just punch it, but yeah, you're not quite like every other human. I mean, you know, not everybody's got, even if some people wanted to, that kind of running record right there you alone, 18 and one, man, that says something. You know, it's, it's a like, lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah you are bringing, work. you're bringing more than just credentials to uh, to the show. Um, so let's sit on a couple of things and uh, before we wrap it up and... Uh, that way I can utilize some of this for a couple of other things. I would like to get a plug from you. Okay. Shout out to my kids, shout out to Team Prosciutto, shout out to TFW, shout out to all my training partners. Everybody else. want to do all right it's your show <laughs> whenever you're ready buddy cool hey guys my name is Shiloh Borden I'm uh a- aka the preacher's son you know I'm um with bad company MMA here with Congos on the groove zone rock and a roll sweet cool hey hey how's it going man much better you? look you're right there <laughs> all right sweet dude all right nice dude i could never fill nathan's shoes if i tried man I, <laughs> dude i get it i get it i i need a nice self oh thanks how are you 
I'm doing well, man. I'm doing, been real busy, but doing good. How about you? Uh, oh my God. You're, you're probably computer savvy at all? No, horrible. Horrible with computers. It's so bad, man. Because if anybody would be between the two of us, it should be you just because you probably grew up with them maybe more than, well, you did. Yeah, I mean, they were around when you were born, so. Yeah, but you know, the so most people think that, dude, but we lived out in the woods and- That's right. Never really on computers that much. So That's right. I, I never really picked it up. My I got lucky, my wife and her family is pretty con, uh, computer savvy, so. Okay. I've been trying to pick up a few things here and there. So when something happens, then you just go to them and, and take care of it. Yeah, pretty much, dude. Pretty much. Okay, well, I don't know if you could hear that a minute ago or not, but I'm going to just hold this for a few so we don't have to wait for this thing to do what it's going to do. But if, oh. if you see this big explosion, you'll know what happens. So, I'm not. In which case, I'll see you when we get home. Hey, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all going to happen someday. Amen. Hey, you need to work right. your double underhooks. And... Um, so you can reverse them and get them around onto the cage. Okay. So we go up, second round goes a little bit better. I, I'm working those double underhooks like my coach, Jacob Allison, Bad Company MMA. Like he, uh, yep, yep. Like, uh, so I worked that and um, it, it went a little better. And for some reason, I, I, I can't remember how he took me down. I have no idea why. I actually even asked my coach and he said the same thing. He's not sure how I went down, but he, he takes me down somehow and I'm on my back and he, he's had really good posture and he was keeping me down really well and landing some clean shots. I was moving, so he, he caught me with a few and I, I slipped a few as well, but something Nathan Stolen and I have been working, he was actually my coach as well for this fight. Um, he stepped in instead of uh, Colby Hoffman wasn't able to be there, so Jake or Nathan stepped in for him, which was cool. huge. Thanks to you, Nathan. Uh, it was thanks, uh, you. to me. Um, but he and I have been working flow work in our grappling. So, for for those of you who don't know what flow work is, pretty much it's going from one move. You're not trying to hurt your training partner. You're just trying to flow, go to one move, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. So you can learn how to chain those together. Okay. And it, it, it saved my butt this last fight. We went, when I was on bottom, I went for an arm bar. He pulled it, got out of it. I switched over to a Goga Plata, wasn't able to finish it. And then I come back to the arm bar and that's when it sunk in. And that's how I finished it off. So wow. because of that flow work that I got in with Nathan, that changed my entire game up and that's how I got the win. So. so everything is just really fluid instead of it kind of going from like one full on like move, it just kind of like blends right into the next one. Exactly, okay. instead of trying to be like uh, mechanical about it and trying to hold on to something that's not really, you know it's not there. Right. You just try to flow and roll it into the next move because when they're still focused on your previous move, right. you're on to the next one already. Right, because they don't know they don't know what you're going into. Exactly. They only know what you are currently after. So yeah. well maybe they do now because now they know your secret. <laughs> no, they don't know what you're going into. Exactly. They only know what you are currently after. So yeah. well maybe they do now because now they know your secret. <laughs> <laughs> he changes well, it up every fight, guys. So hey, we, uh, we we really we really are trying to. So nice. Yeah. Well, you got a great coaching staff behind you, buddy. So you know, yeah. Um. So okay. So that was going into the um fight. Coming out of the fight, your hand gets raised. Oof, that was huge, dude. That was, yeah, that was awesome. Um. I've wanted to fight on Rumble at the Roseland for quite some time. I went down last year and I was able to see an event and they have an awesome venue. Um, and not only that, uh, the whole crowd is just great. The atmosphere in there is awesome. You know, they have great lighting. They have a really good cage and it, it's... Um, it's a theater, isn't it? Normally? Uh, 
So yeah, it is, but it's um uh, for like um, bands and stuff. That's what it's okay. For, okay. You know? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's for like live performances. Gotcha. And uh, but they have the floor seating. Then they as well. They have a balcony as well. So you have screaming coming from ground level, from up top, and everything. And it's oh man, it's a blast. I love that show. Okay. So to get my hand raised, and it was for a belt at the same time. Whew. And I was able to. I knew where my wife was sitting, so when I was done get my hand raised, I was able to turn around and point straight at her, dude. It was awesome. For me. Uh, yeah. Dude, I just got chills. That is totally cool. Yeah, yeah it was great, man. And just to think that, like you said, a year ago, you were sitting in that same audience. Sitting and watching. <laughs> yeah. Would yeah. you have thought at that point that, hey, this time next year, I'll be there? Oh, no, no, not at all. I didn't know I was going to be going after belts this soon, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with progress. To, uh, congratulations, man. Total kudos. Like mm. I, like I said a little bit ago, though, it wasn't, honestly, it, to me, it really wasn't that much of a surprise. It was, Thank a, you. it was just, I mean, it was a surprise, yeah, but not like, wow, I can't believe, you know, because <laughs> if you had what it takes going in, regardless of what the beast looked like. Thank um, you, man. God's been good. Out of curiosity, good. how cold or how tall is Nate Ronan? Um, you okay. had what it takes going in, regardless of what the beast looked like. Thank um, you, man. God's been good. Out of curiosity, how cold or how tall is Nate Ronan? Um, off the top of my head, I'm thinking he's probably about six foot. Real, I'm like six one. I, I think I might have had a little bit on him, but yeah, real okay. simple. I don't yeah. know why I thought you were closer to six four, but you know you're still a growing dude, so who knows? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but Nate, Nate is stout, man. He is built like a brick. So okay. yeah, shout out to that guy. He was a great opponent and extremely professional. The whole uh, between weigh-ins, the actual fight, and afterwards, solid guy. Awesome, so, awesome. Did you are you able to kind of determine how much of a turnout you had? Like how many people from home? were able to make it down or um yeah um ish you know i actually didn't have that many people this time i uh um i I'm trying to think it's a journey out of town you know yeah regardless. you know for my hometown it's probably about you know a two and a half three hour drive depending where you're coming from and um i didn't post it as much as I should have. I, I kind of had a blank. We had so many fights back to back, I kind of got caught up in it. But I, uh, it was great. My my younger brother, uh, Luke, lives down in Portland actually, so I was able to stay with him. And he has a bunch of roommates that he stays with. And I, I've never met him before, but they all came and backed me up and they were the loudest ones in the whole room. Nice. Awesome. nice. Yeah, and my wife came. And her friend came and uh, I had my team. Uh, we had another teammate fighting. Jeremy was on that card and did awesome. Okay. So, cool. yeah, we had, a, we had a crew there still. Awesome. Well, and you know that, I mean, regardless of whether a crowd knows the fighters or not, um, applause is just, you know, and cheering is usually just, you know, kind of the norm. So yeah. now you just gain that whole new legion of fans as well. They're like, hey, you know, something's coming out of bad company MMA. So... You know, yeah, for sure, dude. More power to the team. Um, yeah. Cool. Now, how soon before you're going to um, step back into the ring? Any ideas yet at this point, or are you just taking it easy for a few? Actually, we do have something locked in. It's a ways out still. It's late September. Okay. Um, you know that'll be here next week. <laughs> it's usually how it goes, man. It just flies. Yeah. yeah. But that's at, uh, a it's great cool. event. I've fought and it just flies. Yeah. yeah. But that's at uh, a Thanks great so event. I've fought there um, twice before for Brian Johnson. Uh, it's called the Northwest Fight Challenge. And that is one of the best in Washington for an amateur card. And I'm lucky enough, I get to go for another belt. So I have another title fight coming up. Nice. Yeah. So, so is there a date or anything yet or not yet? So. I am. Are you not at liberty to say it yet? Uh, I, I, I'm. 
I, I believe it's the 29th or the 30th. I don't believe, I'm gonna go check, but I don't believe anything has been posted quite yet. Ronan. What's Ronan. that? Ronan. <laughs> yeah. Keep that little uh, keep that little device handy, buddy, because I might be throwing some questions off you. Oh man, I'm terrible with dates and names. Oh my god. Supposedly it's because we're guys. Yeah, Women. Yeah, that's my women, excuse for yeah. the most part. Right. If we had that, you know, that female hormone or whatever, uh, it'd help out. You know, there's times when it helps. Yeah, I don't think yeah. that's been confirmed or posted yet, but okay. I do believe that's going to be on the 29th or the 30th of September. I'll try to keep everybody up to date still with that. Cool. And you know, we we um, we did our best too to make sure that uh, your stuff was promoted prior to the um, fight. So yeah, I really appreciate it, man. Yeah. Any you know, like like we uh, talked about originally, um, you being part of our featured athletes. You know, it's like we want to promote as much as we can as we're able to as well. Thank so, you. Um, um, but the thing and. Actually, I'm really excited about this because a lot of this is going to actually end up in reels. Cool. So I'll tell you, your boy Jordan, man, his his one reel where he's talking about what got him into MMA is is a, by far it's our best one. Oh I really? Mean, like it's, yeah, it's like on its way to three thousand views. All right, nice, dude. All yeah. Right. Yeah. So now it's time to put Shiloh out there front and center. Yes, sir. Um. Let's see. Uh, okay, so we got that. We got that. So yeah, we'll definitely be um, keeping everybody up to date as far as uh, your upcoming fight. Um, are you going to the um, uh, MMA Summer Showdown upcoming fight? Um, are you going to the um, uh, MMA Summer Showdown um, uh, at uh, Tulalip on the 29th? Uh, I, yeah, I am going to be going to that yeah, one. Up and support the guys stoked for that one jordan and nathan both on the same card yeah it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a good night yeah it is gonna be a good one um jordan and i just talked uh, the other day so that was really cool um got a chance to uh, kind of get some input from him as far as the uh, upcoming fight um i think you guys should drag your feet and swing by the um car show at the winery the next day as you go back into aberdeen oh it's the next day huh the car so if so if you guys are like like hoteling it or something up there that night and not coming back or get hotels in olympia come to the winery the next day for the car show because that would be totally awesome i'd love to have you guys as my guests for a few um oh, dude. That'd be, i'd love that i'll make sure you guys know yeah 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 yeah. i'll make sure you guys know because i'd love to see you guys if you it's just this weird thing i'm yes what oh i was gonna ask uh what where's the address for that one at at the winery yeah um, it's it's well it's all over our stuff it's 947 old pacific highway so like if you're going north um if you got off in the squally you know just right past lacy yeah before you get to the uh before you get to jblm okay, oh, okay. is the valley and if you get off the freeway there um you're traveling out like you're going to go out to redwind casino yeah and it's right up it's usually a pumpkin patch during the fall but about 20 years ago they opened it up as a winery uh -huh. I'm not a wine drinker, but I had a I had a small glass um at, uh something here not that long ago. Oh my gosh. And it's an awesome venue. Totally, totally cool. Dude, all right. I'd love to come check that out. I'd love to, well, I'm gonna just make sure you guys have invites then. So. Yeah, and, and a car show at the same time, dude. It's yeah, so basically their slogan is if it rolls, you can show it. Oh uh, it's the second annual one. They had a great turnout last year, like hundreds of people showed up. And that's all right, dude. So that's what I'm thinking too. Shit, I might even put you guys on the mic. Dude, I'll do whatever I gotta do, man. That sounds like fun. Cool. Okay. You know I'll hold you to it. <laughs> okay, cool. So all the all the fighting stuff um, out of the way. How are you feeling now? I mean, back back to uh, health and all that feeling good again? Yeah. Um, uh, so I actually took like a solid three weeks off, which um, is the longest break I've taken in my uh, wife and kids support me all the time. My brother, Hunter.
George Showtime Harrington. Coming to announce my professional fight July 29th in Tulalip, Washington against George Juarez. You can get tickets online at TulalipCasino.com. And again, it's July 29th. Hope to see you guys all. Ow! Rock and roll. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> watching the Groove Zones convos. I'm DJ D Phoenix coming to you out of Olympia today. And with me, I'm getting to hang again uh, for the second round with Jordan Showtime Harrington out of Aberdeen, Washington. Jordan, hey, man. How are you? Good. Hey, thanks for putting a few minutes aside for us today. Totally appreciate this. I appreciate you inviting me back again. Hey, you bet. Well, we're on round two now. And this wasn't an easy round for some reason. <laughs> so go figure. Um, so uh, we are just, uh, what, about a month and a week and a half, maybe a couple of weeks from uh, the next big show. Yes, sir. July 29th. Go Ed. for my fourth pro fight. July Lip? Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, I hear tickets are selling out fast if they're not already sold out. Very fast. Nice. Very. I even tried to scoop some tickets up to have sent to me so I could sell them and He's having a hard time gathering those up to get to me. So, wow. If you get tickets from hey. me, I advise everyone to go online and get your tickets ASAP. That's right. And I believe it's tulalipcasino.com, if I remember right. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's tulalipcasino.com. If you're from outside of Washington, though, you might need some help with uh, spelling tulalip. So, at least it's not in Puyallup. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, man, totally appreciate you uh, putting some time aside for us today. Um, I gotta say, actually, and I don't know what I don't know what the magic was attached, but the one of the reels that came off of our um, first interview has totally like passed all the other reels that we've got out there, and um, is sitting at like two thousand plus views. Nice, I'm, just, I'm totally blown away. And it's funny enough, it's the um, um, clip that where you're talking about what got you into MMA. Okay, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Totally, man. When I saw those numbers, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. That absolutely rocks. So, and none of our other clips or reels are anywhere close to that. So, congratulations, especially for a newcomer. No, yeah, anyway. congrats to you too. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks. Well, it's because of guests like you, though, that we do what we do. <clears throat> yeah, I appreciate so, it. Um, trying to get right back uh, into some convo. I know when uh, we talked last time, um, we kind of actually we could have talked for another hour, probably easily at that point. Um, but I, I kind of want to um, give the um, listeners and the audience, the viewers today, a chance to kind of get to know Jordan kind of behind the scenes kind of thing. All uh, right. What, uh, like, what, what, okay, because um, actually I did have a couple of people who had me write down some questions, but I'm like, every go. day as opposed to when you're training. Because oh, you're in training mode now, right? Yeah, train, try to get at least four days a week in, Monday, sometimes Tuesdays if I'm up in Olympia training and then it's Wednesdays and Fridays and then when I'm not training I'm in the gym working out um I've kind of I've got a pretty boring pretty boring schedule outside of uh MMA you know I've got a beautiful wife two beautiful kids so my schedule is pretty much it revolves around my family you know it's, like I said it's as you can hear my kids dad, dad comes first before the MMA fight. yeah and that that's that's my life you know my I, I kind of slowed down quite a bit on my outside hobbies, you know, like so my everyday schedule when it's not working at working or working out is work and being here with my wife and my kids and just doing the dad thing, you know. Um, I'm a big family person, so I try to spend as much time as possible. And with the job I have right now, I only get Tuesdays and Wednesdays off. And luckily, I was fortunate to take today off because my daughter had her field day. So I got to go, got okay. to go hang out at the school today with my kids and but my normal everyday life outside of working out and MMA, like I said, is just work and being a family man. So not too exciting. I mean, <laughs> and, you know, and, and I think I think actually probably more than people even realize. So that's probably more common than it's not, you know, I mean, yeah, everybody, you know, looks really grandiose and, you know, you know, even well, except for the Kardashians, you have to put them aside. Um, and I can't believe I even just use them as a reference. So excuse me. <laughs> um, but, you know, for the most part, though, I think everybody does kind of just like live that normal, you know, ebb and flow kind of life. And then you've got like the other aspect of it, which for you is the um, MMA fighting. Um, yeah. 
So um, I know that, and I don't want to hear the sound of my own voice through the majority of this t- conversation. Yeah, you know, and, and it makes me wonder, it's like, if he were still alive today, would he be taking it in the same direction as the corporation has gone so far? Or would he be, I mean, you know, honestly, Disney is, Disney is the master corporation. Yeah. I, I mean, they, they really are. I- that, that's a good question, you know, honestly, like with the world we're in now, you know, with people, you know, not being, people being so sensitive and not open-minded to things, and just the way Disney took movies even back in the day, I can see him kind of going off the path that he used to go on and actually going a little darker with his movies and giving more truth to certain stories, you know? So, right. But who knows? Yeah, I mean, without him here, well, you know, maybe they'll bring him back and he can finish the interview for us one of these days. Because that's one of the other conspiracies is that him and Michael are on, on ice together. Yeah. I mean, like a ice to fish. You know? None of us know. Well, they know. Well, actually, they don't know because they're dead. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure <laughs> he, probably, he probably helped those last couple of minutes. Anyway, we could really go on about this for hours and uh, this can be a different uh, session altogether. Um, so, uh, you're in Aberdeen. Um, you're with Bad Company MMA. Yes, sir. But about what year, when did you um, um, hook up with those guys over there? It was 2000, oh, going into 2011. Oh, so I, you've been with them for a little while already then. Yeah, okay. I've been with them since I was 19. Wow. Yeah, I'm going on 33 now. Wow. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nice. Um, and it you know there's something about aberdeen or something about the harbor i should say produces great fighters yeah i think it's because it's a it's such a small town so people don't expect a lot and you know they don't expect a lot to come out of this town i mean we're known for what nirvana and probably a handful of famous people but right with our fighters i think a lot of us you know we want more for this place and that was one of my goals like i want more for this town so even when i played semi-pro football you know i put my you know i wanted to put aberdeen on the map you know and with my fighting that was my biggest goal and it took it it was getting a little rough um, you know to where i ended up having to take some time off because you know, just having that pressure, you're just trying to get this small uh-huh. town on the map and then people not, sh- you know, nobody's seeing the positivity out of this town. And, you know, honestly, I was one of those people, you know, growing up here, you know, coming from Indianapolis to Florida to here, you know, I saw a huge change, but I, had, I watched this small town go from something to nothing. And, yeah. you know, even now, you know, it's it's got its ups and downs, but, you know, just seeing where we're at now. And, you know, when you mention Aberdeen, people are like, Where's that? I'm like, you got to go right through to get to like Ocean Shores. They're like, oh, right, I know right. Ocean Shores is. So it just that just, it, that was my goal. Is okay, you know. Not a lot of people know about this place because you can just go right through it. Yeah. And the handful that do know, like I said, only know us because of Nirvana. And so, with the fighting, you know, like me and Nathan, you know, with our fighting, like we wanted to put this town on the map, and like I said, it became a hassle for me to where I felt like, you know, I wasn't doing my fighting for me anymore. I was doing it for my town right. and I wasn't getting anywhere with it. And so it started to become pretty stressful to where I stepped away for a while. But then, uh, you know, I'd hear people come up and, dude, you know, we miss watching you fight. You, you, you know, all these kids that watched you, you know, they want to be just like you. And just hearing all these young kids that watched me grow up in high school or their mom and dad's coach me, you know, coming up to me to, Man, you know, I remember when I watched your first fight, I want to be just like you. And kids want to know if they can come to our gym. Um, and then seeing one of my my teammates, Shiloh, I used to watch him wrestle in high school against my younger brother. Okay. And just seeing someone like him, where he's at now, you know, and yeah. I'm like, you know, me and Nathan did that. Like, we could possibly make MMA big here, you know, and... Since we've been doing that, you know, I've noticed a lot more fighters coming out of town. And, you know, like I said, we may not have the best things here. Because honestly, our our gym, we have a wrestling mat. We have a punching bag, a couple punching dummies, some jump ropes, and a long rope that we... But all our working out is just us pushing each other. Nothing's like, you know, at all. I tell a lot of people, you know, you don't need all that fancy stuff to become a good fighter. You know, it's a matter of you putting your mind to it 
you working hard. And one of my biggest things growing up is if I don't put a hundred percent in on what I do, when the time comes, I'm not going to be a hundred. We're like less than an hour away from each other. That, um, that whole like temperature change, the weather difference yeah. happens over the Black Hills. It's like you get, you get on the other side of the Black Hills and it's a totally different weather system most of the time. Yeah. That's just, that's always been nuts to me. Um, so downtown Aberdeen, um, one of the things too that you had mentioned, um, something about running for city council or running for mayor. Yeah. Anything new on that horizon at all or still just a pipe dream or? So it's still kind of a thought. Um, I actually went to a meeting a couple weeks ago because I, I don't know if I mentioned to you that I wanted to start a boys and girls club here. Yeah. And so I had a buddy of mine and it's been a long process of us trying to get something going. And we actually met up with a woman about starting a big brother, big sister program here. Right. And so we sat in a meeting, we all talked and, you know, I explained why I thought it was a good idea. And so right now we're just kind of waiting to get on that. I've actually got to email her back and let her know, you know, what my true plans are with that but um as far as you know running for city council or mayor i don't think the mayor thing would be my kind of my my go-to just because i'm not huge into politics you know i kind of want to just stay back and just do me and uh that's okay neither are most mayors yeah <laughs> yeah i just I, I just like i said my life's pretty boring and i think that'd be too much excitement in my life so, but, you know, coming, getting together every, you know, however often they all get together for city council, council, you know, and just explaining, you know, things that can be done here in town or, you know, what kind of progress we can make here. I definitely would like to do something like, cause like I said, you know, with this fighting game, I know it's not much, but just with the little bit that me and my group have done, you know, I just, you know, we're giving back to the community, you know, and if we can get the community to kind of step up and, you know, help us bring us all back up, you know, no I'd love to do that. You know, I just, I want the best for this place. You know, I, I'm not from here. I, I just grew up here, but th this is my home. You know, th this is my kids' home and I want them to see the beauty I saw when I first moved here. Exactly. And not the good. So, exactly. Yeah, and it, like, you know, I want them to George Showtime Harrington. Come to announce my professional fight July 29th in Tulela, Washington against George Juarez. You can get tickets online at TulelaCasino.com. And again, it's July 29th. Hope to see you guys all. Ow! Rock and roll. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Thank you, sir. Totally appreciate that. I appreciate you. Well, yeah, you bet. And, you know, it's like, and um, I need, still need to uh, land uh, both Nathan and Shiloh. Shiloh for a post win and Nathan for a pre, uh, pre fight. So that's July 29th. It's a Saturday up in Tulalip. Um, it's, what's the name of their casino? Is it just Tulalip Casino? Is it like something? I want to say it's Seven Winds it Casino. Is the, it is so something of the winds. Okay. Um, I don't know how many wins and I don't know what they're of, but anyway, TulalipCasinoCup.com, guys. Um, but get your tickets fast because uh, it's going fast. And go out, Very and, fast. Go out and support these local fighters. Um, cool. Um, so with that being said, then I'm going to say, Jordan, as always, man, thank you so much. We are totally in your corner and um, we're waiting for a, a win of um, um, the show that night. So... I appreciate you guys. And again, I appreciate you inviting me on your show. I look forward to it every time and more to come. So no doubt, no doubt. Um, okay. And one last thing. And then, yeah, we'll call it good going in, going into the fight. Um, now, I mean, chances are it would be different if I was talking to you like two nights before the actual fight, but going into the fight, what, what are your thoughts? You know, Going into this fight, I know this guy is a tough, and a, a pretty tough opponent. You know, he's got some good guys that he trains with. Uh, and what's funny is the last fight I had the, the, with the guy out of Spokane, uh, he's actually old team teammates with this guy. And me and him had a conversation after my win. And I, you know, I kind of gave him a word of advice. I told him, you know, I know it's cool, you know, cause he was five and three as an amateur, kind of jumped the gun as a pro. And I just told him, you know, I went 15 and three before I went pro. And uh, I was like, you know, I get it, you know, but you also understand 
this game's a lot different than what it used to be back when I first started. There's a lot more hungry people, a lot of people, you know, want to be something. Come on, Jordan, let him go. Let's go. 20 seconds, you got this. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Work fire. Work 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 Hey, this is Nathan Superman Stolen, Bellator veteran. Make sure you tune in to the Black Friday specials, November 25th, if you know what's good for you. That's right. You can feel it again. <laughs> I have uh, Friday, Saturdays, so I don't have Sundays off anymore. And even, then, the wait, night after, even the day after the fight? Yeah, I believe the day after the fight is a Sunday. Right. So I have to, I'd have to put in for it. So um, I don't want you to do and, anything special. Because there's there's nothing like monetarily to gain. This is totally like just for you know promotion, get you guys out there. If if I could pay you guys to like show, dude, I totally wouldn't make shit. I pay you double whatever they're paying you, whatever that is. But um, I don't want no, you. It, to, I don't it, want you if I have if I'm able to, because uh, that's something I should do is try to get the day off anyways. Because uh, day off anyways. Because um, uh, you know I'm who knows I could be pretty feeling kind of hurt after the fights you know not always win or lose sometimes you know you need a you need a good uh one day uh, rest the day after but i have to put in i have to uh it's not always a guarantee you can get time off you know uh in my in my line of work it's if they don't have relief available you're working you know right right, right. well i would hope that with over a month's advance notice that they would uh, be able to find somebody especially because it's the day after your fight yeah yeah, but I, so okay. So then, do you want me to hold off then? Yeah, give me another uh, another week or so, just so that when I settle into my new spot, because I don't start till next um, Monday. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah. So. Sergeant. It, yeah. Check you out. Well, what are you right now? Uh, I'm just officer. Oh, okay. Really? Out of the okay. I thought you had been like commander in chief or something by now. Yeah, right. No, nothing like that. I uh, just just a regular old grunt officer and special teams and stuff. So that's cool. Yeah. But you like it? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's it's a lot different. You know, a lot of people. I mean, for fun, I you know when they ask me about it, I say, oh yeah, you're. It's just like the movies, you know. But it's it's not. It's not at all. Right. Right. It's just for fun. It. I think everybody's got everybody's got misconceptions about everything, though. You know, oh, it's yeah. like because of the way that Hollywood presents itself. I mean, even down to the MMA fighters. And actually, was it either Jordan or Shiloh and I were talking? It's like you know, it's like this real grandiose moment as you're like walking up to the ring, you know, and doing your weigh-ins and all that. But there's this whole other side of your, you know, this major side of your life, your full life on beyond that. And it's interesting. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, Anyway, I would just hope that they would give you the day off afterwards. So, yes. Front I, street fights. Okay. And, um, also, I was the featherweight champion for combat games. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, there's a lot of different, yeah, there's a lot of different uh, uh, things to remember there. Anyway, getting a chance to hang with Nathan Superman stolen again. So, totally stoked. Nathan, hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Well, it's going well. And uh, how's yourself there, your champ? Oh, pretty good. You know, just uh, training, really getting in that grind for the upcoming fight, uh, end of July. July 29th. Yep. July Lip Casino. Oh, yeah. It's going to be uh, at the amphitheater there, so an outdoor uh, an outdoor venue. Is it really? Oh, I didn't yep. know that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, it was a... Uh, I was wondering if it was going to be because I've fought for combat games in the past, uh, an outdoor event for us to call me. Yeah. And I think it was hands down my probably my favorite experience uh, really? for fighting far. Yeah. Like just the, I mean, it was uh, nice weather. I mean, it was pretty hot, but 
Um, I was fighting co-main event, so by that time, the sun had gone down. Um, About perfect. Know, still warm in the air, but there was like a light breeze, so it just gave off just a really nice uh, um, vibe. I'll or, bet. Uh, heading for fighting. I mean, I really, really enjoyed it. So um, I'm back. pretty excited for this one, too. I got to uh, look online. You know, I put it in to kind of check it out and uh, the amphitheater and they must have done shows there in the past because they had a whole cage set up and kind of gave you an idea what it would look like. So I'm pretty, pretty cool. stoked for that. Very cool. Um, I'd love to get a ticket. I, I I need to check into that. What what are tickets running? Do you know? Um, I'm What's not sure. Range? I think it was like uh, 60, 70, 80, something like that, depending on the setting or the um, the seats because there's a, little, there's a lot of different um, areas for seating. And I don't know what front row was. I looked online. A lot of people were telling me that they couldn't even find front row available. But uh, so I think that's about the price range for okay. for ticket tickets. But okay, I think it's gonna be. Uh, I think it's gonna it's be worth selling out. Any? Uh huh. It's gonna be totally sold out. You know it is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it. A lot of. Uh, I've got a lot of people. They're buying up all the seats in uh, row <laughs> if that's if anyone wants to know that's that's where all my 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 people are are getting uh seats nice nice get in the hometown gonna be there for sure dude that is totally awesome so um going into the fight you're going up against i want to say darren smith jr yes that's 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 uh my opponent okay um reason why i know his name is because um he's got the same one as mine so go figure um <laughs> yeah um so he's coming in with a good record though too. Um how far uh, yeah. Um so he's coming in with a good record though too. Um how far how far into the um night are you guys? Are you like the main event or like close uh, to the event? Yeah, I think we are uh if by looking at kind of the um the pay the uh, promotions like poster and stuff like that or announcements of the fight. Right. It's kind of by that. Uh, it looks like I might be like third to last, but these things are always subject to change. You know, it's just right, and it it's just a poster. Um, you know, so who I'm not really sure, but uh, 100 100 percent just yet. But as of right now, my guess would be uh, third to last because okay. uh, it looks like a pretty good matchup for main event would be. Uh, Anthony Hamilton and, and Matt Kovac, so that'll be a, a good one. I can no see doubt. why the headliner. No doubt. And Jordan's on the card. Yeah. yeah. How eff effing cool. Um, Bad Company obviously going to be there with you guys too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hey, by the way, I heard you stepped in as coach for somebody here recently. Uh, yeah. Well, I I, I jumped in for uh, with Shiloh as his uh, cornerman. Right. So, which I've done that before. I I've help corner people um multiple lots of times in the past so as a team you know when we need to do that for each other and step in and and help you know we obviously have our our main coach uh jacob is a he, he's a he's a hell of a coach um he does a good job himself you know but it's always good to have a second guy and who who better to do it than the people you train with right they understand how you fight and exactly uh, so when you know, he needed somebody to jump, come in and help him out. And so I uh, jumped in on the opportunity to support him, go up there and help him. Nice. And to, I know he's totally appreciative of that too. It's funny because as I've been, as I've talked with the guys, like there's kudos to you all over the place. <laughs> Whether it's coming from them or coming from me. So it's like, you know, you're a very, very awesome guy. And I totally appreciate these times with you. Um, well, I am. I'm going to seriously look into possibly getting a ticket. And if I end up up there, I'll let you guys know. But my hope is to see you guys the next day at the winery, though. I would love to have you guys there, um, you know, come in, uh, just kick back with the family. There's going to be a shitload of cars, um, good music, um, food. Um, I'd love you guys to see the venue, and I'd love to get a chance to hang. But fingers crossed. I'll leave it at that. Okay. I I checked a. Uh, I I, uh, I looked online. I checked out some photos of the uh, the winery there to get a kind of an idea. Of what looks really nice. Wait until you get. Mm -hmm. Just the area that I was in, like I was out by the vendors at this first event. Anyway, you know what? We'll talk about that later. Yes, you're right. <laughs> great, great winery, great venue. 
Um, I, um, yeah. So I do have a, a couple of things where I put my list. Good grief, you know, I just, oh, okay, great. So <laughs> going into the upcoming fight, what, what is your, um, what's your outlook? What, what are you expecting? What are you, what are you thinking? Well, um, I think he's going to come out pretty heavy handed. I mean, I've, I don't do a whole lot of um, researching on guys. You know, I do a little bit, but I think I've said before in past interviews, you know, a lot can change in, in while you're in the fight. Uh, what you think you're going to do or what you think your opponent's going to do could change. And uh, I think I just like to train and keep that out of my mind and, and kind of uh, be reactive, you know, to things. Uh but I, you know, predict it's just, it's going to be, I like to stand and fight. That's my priority. And uh, from what it looks like or what my coach tells me, you know, he, he's going to like, probably like to stand and fight too as well. But, you know, I'm ready for anything. If he wants to take it to the ground, you know, we'll react that way. Or if I want to take it to the ground, you know, I'm always, uh, always leave it open, you know, to whatever happens in the, in the cage, you know, be prepared for, but, right. um, you know, uh, just kind of, Looking at his style and my style, I think it's going to be a clash up, uh, and I'm fully 100 percent prepared for that. You know, I that's my go, that's my strengths, and if that's where he wants to keep the fight, then perfect. You know, let's do that. You got now. Is there a title? Is there a belt involved in this one? Uh, no, not on this one. Not yet. Okay. Okay. That's then. That, that's still coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I am uh, honestly I probably am still current I believe I'm still there featherweight with with COVID you know COVID had uh, shut a lot of shows down for a couple years um, so there really wasn't a lot of fights going on and stuff and I had fought for them a while a little bit before uh, before COVID struck and so I think technically I might still be the featherweight champion. Uh, you know, I think this is the first show since since the start of COVID. I mean, I don't think I could make that weight anymore, but... Uh, no, but if you haven't handed the belt off to anyone and if they haven't asked for it back or whatever, you know what, champ, I think you're still the man. So, yeah. I'm... So you never know a featherweight, you know, or a lightweight uh, belt could always be on the line. I'm grown pretty accustomed to fighting for belts, so... Right, right. But you know what, though, COVID did away with a lot of stuff, too. So, you know, whatever organization you want to um, belong to and say whatever. Um, yeah. So there weren't many um, fights at all during the whole, like, pandemic era, era then, huh? I think there was a pretty pretty good amount of time, like, for a year or two. <laughs> It's bedtime for me. It is bedtime for you, dude. Yeah. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you putting some time aside. Let's get a, let's get a couple of shout outs real quick, and uh, we'll call it a day. All right, all right. Who do you want to do some shout outs to? Shout out to all my kids. Love y'all so much. I got six of them. Uh, shout out my mom, my poppy, my grandparents, and of course, shout out my wife. Um, shout out my uncles back home, my Uncle Vern, my Uncle Bart, my Uncle Mike. We're all my Uncle Mike's and my Uncle Richard. Love y'all. Uh, yeah. Shout out to BJD Phoenix. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, man. I totally do. We'll have to get Triple T back in action one of these days. Yeah. Uh, for those of you that remember, um, actually, uh, he was uh, one of our DJs on, I think, our third or fourth season with Neo Retro FM. And, uh, not on with us long enough, but um, uh, we've been connected ever since and definitely one of my uh, favorite people. So, dude, thank you so much for putting some time aside, man. I know it's been a long one. I know you've got a big one ahead of you tomorrow, too. So, I totally appreciate it. Yes, I appreciate you, man. All right. All right. Okay, well, say hey. Hey, check me out. Again, check me out on YouTube. Do it. On uh, Street Beast, Scrapyard, Viking Warrior. It's got a whole bunch of fights. Uh, show love. Let me know your uh what's thinking. Yeah, go from there. And, and follow me on IG. Okay. And IG. Uh let me tell you my name. Uh Smoking Weed Fitness on IG and then uh Mr. Underscore Turner07 on IG and Viking Warrior on IG. You know what I might have you do? I might actually have you send me You know what I might have you do? I might actually have you send me I might have you send me the links if I can't find them. 
and we'll put that we'll put them on this so that people can actually like see it so they can like go right um and there's a 50 50 chance right now that viking warrior might actually be at the second annual car show at uh, medicine creek winery on july 30th it's his birthday weekend so here's yes. hope no because uh, also on um, hand that day are going to be Nathan Superman Stolen, Jordan Showtime Harrington, and Shiloh Preacher's son, uh, Borden. So All we- guys I train with, um, Madhouse, um, MMA, they get down uh, out in Aberdeen, check them out. Is that the name of their, their gym? Bad Company. <laughs> Bad, Bad Company. I knew it was something crazy. Bad Company MMA, man. Uh, holla at them and yeah don't beat me up Coach Joseph don't beat me up this didn't uh, create any extra editing Coach Jacob see I'm getting wrong everything his name wrong got everything wrong oh my gosh I need a nap <laughs> go to sleep if no I get doubt. knocked out by one of those guys oh my gosh alright no it's all good alright so on behalf of Viking Warrior um, I'm DJ D Phoenix coming to you from Olympia Washington uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages. And uh, you're watching Converse here on the Groove Zone. Rock and roll. Peace. All right, man. You're a rock star. Right, have Thank a blessed you. night. Thank yeah, you. you. Yeah, you started to melt real quick. <laughs> yes. Tired. Nap time. Go to bed. Get some sleep, and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank All right, you, buddy. Bob. Have a good night. Shout out to my wife, Kelly Borden. My oh. father and my wife have the same first name. Extremely weird, but uh, especially when they're both in the room. Yeah, exactly. And, and if you say "I love you, Kelly," yeah, that's got to be like, well, that hun or son, that's real sweet, you know. But yeah, but yeah. <laughs> so shout out to her; she's been a huge support. She's helped me with meal prepping, helped me with my workouts. I mean, she's just been taking care of kids when I'm out at fight camp. And, uh, shout out to her, and uh, shout out to the kids course man huge shout out to my kids they I, I drag them to almost every single practice i go to and they're with me they spend hours at the gym my son was two weeks old when he first went into that gym two weeks old man that's a second home for him then oh like he he doesn't he, he doesn't know anything different really wow so, yeah future but. champion there probably huh Oh man, he, he actually enjoys training already and he's only three years old. So, um, yeah. And you've got a little girl. Yeah, she's a little lame too. We're actually uh, kind of fun. We're going to be able to, uh, there's a big event called the Revolution and it's a big jiu-jitsu tournament that they do. Actually, Jeremy, I got two teammates there today. I wasn't able to make it today, but I have two teammates, Jeremy Roberts, and uh, Kobe is there. And so shout out to you guys. Hope you guys kill it today. Um, but they hold these events uh, every few months and they have a full kids day. So we're gonna try to make a weekend out of it and I'm gonna try to compete and have my daughter compete the same day. Oh, cool. Where's, yeah, it, really where's it held? Uh, they actually have it at the state fairgrounds, Joel. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big event. Thousands oh, wow. of people at this one. Huge event. Very so, cool. You'll have yeah. to let us know. Yeah, for sure, man. Hey, you know what? We are getting close to uh, being out of time. So you know, once again, uh, as always, Shiloh, thank you so much. Oh man, yeah. been you. hanging for a while today with um, Shiloh Borden, and uh, Shiloh is uh, the FCFF. Is that right? Yep. FCFF, That's it. Um, heavyweight or middleweight champion. Totally cool. Um, recent champion. And uh, gonna hang on to that one for a while. So, um, planning on beauty school, and then she has an even bigger beauty um, shop salon now. So it's like you know, us if our community could do that for each other, man. No doubt, no doubt. Um, are you familiar with Tinderbox um, uh, Cafe? Uh, it's a coffee espresso shop, right? Yeah. In- okay. Um, the uh, business that it um, opened up as a, about six years or so ago um, was my best friend. Okay. Um, they'd had it out at Westport prior to that, and then in, uh, before that was when it was um, on the way out to Hoquiam. Okay. It, you know, that one coffee shop kind of there off on the left-hand side that makes it really hard to pull into and out of. If you're, yeah. Okay. 
So anyway, they'd had Tinderbox. And um, some of what he told me as far as like other business owners and property owners and stuff in Aberdeen was just totally messed up, but typical. You know, very, very typical of a lot of areas where you've got somebody that, you know, has got the money and they're not really reinvesting it. They're holding on to it for their own gains and all that. And um, for me, at the end of the day, Jordan, it's all about how the, the scales of justice weigh out. Yeah. And, um, I mean, and, and I, I don't know. There again, long story. And um, hey, guys, you are still watching. And I'm so thankful. <laughs> Convos on the Groove Zone Network. I'm DJ D. Phoenix hanging for a few with Jordan Harrington, Jordan Showtime Harrington today out of Aberdeen, Washington. All right, save me, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, any any words that uh, you want to throw out there? Any um, shout outs or anything that you want to do before we start to wrap this up here in a few? You know, I just want to just let everybody know, you know, you can do whatever you put your mind to, you know, we can come together, if we can come together, you know, we can make the world a better place, you know, stay positive and see what happens. And that's about it for me. Sounds cool. And you're right. Um, everybody probably uh you know go out there and and find somebody who might need it and be positive role models be be mentors to somebody in my line of work i see that uh that's probably a lot of people's downfall is not having positive people to to kind of show them how to uh the right paths in life you know sometimes they uh cling to negative role models and people are not mentoring the correct way you know so that would what i i would i would uh recommend everybody or my word of advice is just uh think about being positive mentors to people and being positive role models to somebody no doubt no doubt you're you're totally right though because you know people look up to people you know that's just kind of human nature and if you're if you're um if the person you're looking up to uh, is uh, not one of the good ones, you know, that's what you're going to gravitate towards. Um, so, yeah, cool. Well, thank you. I totally appreciate that. Um, all right. Well, so, guys, um, cutting this short, um, on behalf of uh, Nathan Superman Stolen out in um, Aberdeen, Washington, I'm DJ D. Phoenix coming to you from Olympia, Washington. You've been watching Convos uh, uh, tonight, our MMA edition. And uh, Nathan, thank you so much, man. Totally appreciate some time. Yeah, no problem at all. Thanks for having me on your uh, talk show. Cool. And we want to send them where? Um, you're, I know he's on Facebook. Um, I think Nathan's on Instagram. If you put in Nathan Superman Stone, he's going to come up somewhere, no doubt. He's on YouTube, so do check it out. I don't think he's on Spotify yet. Not no. yet. I, not, not yet. Do they do, what do they do? Do they do something with Spotify other than just music now? No, we were expecting an album coming out. An album, yeah. I was like, Spotify. What do they do now? Huh? Social media account? No. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Well, not that we know it. Well, they do do podcasts, though. So. Who yeah, knows? well, you can definitely catch me on uh, Instagram and Facebook. <laughs> there you go. At least. For Yo, what's going down? This is your boy Dub FX. I am doing a show called Hook, Line, and Thinker with DJ D Phoenix on Neo Retro FM. So tune into that. Yeah.